In 2020, Malika Andrews made her television debut when she broke the record for youngest sideline reporter. She was a former NBA writer who started at ESPN in 2018. She had previously spent a year working for the Chicago Tribune. She won a slew of honors. And in 2021, Forbes included her in a list of 30 influential people under the age of 30. Malika now serves as the host of ESPN's NBA Today. She was apparently so great at appearing on TV that in May 2022, she was given a trophy called a Sports Emmy. A month later, she made history as the first female to host an NBA game. However, some of the things she has said have been questionable to say the least and have been found as offensive by many. For example, she once made some unflattering comments about lottery prick Brandon Miller during the 2023 NBA draft. Some thought it was inappropriate to make such a comment on his special day. There were additional occasions where her actions were met with disapproval. When word got out that she was seeing Dave McMiniman, some individuals said hurtful things about her. News of the engagement broke as a result of a restraining order granted to Andrews. The restraining order was also reportedly granted to McMiniman and Molly Karam. Today's video will be about why Dave McMiniman will regret being with Malika Andrews. McMiniman and Andrews likely met through work. The longtime ESPN NBA reporter attended Syracuse. He's also risen up through the ranks of ESPN's coverage of the NBA. McMiniman is probably best known for his coverage of LeBron James. He covered the longtime NBA star in Cleveland and now in Los Angeles. Dave McMiniman began his career as an NBA reporter for ESPN in 2009, working as a beat writer and television analyst primarily covering the Los Angeles Lakers and Cleveland Cavaliers. He began his career covering the league in 2005 for NBA.com. He played basketball collegiately at the University of Limerick in Ireland and graduated from Syracuse University, where he was a student manager for the 2003 National Championship team with Carmelo Anthony. The Philadelphia native is an avid sneaker collector and New York Times bestselling author for the book Return of the King, LeBron James, The Cleveland Cavaliers and the Greatest Comeback in NBA History, co-authored with Brian Windhorst. He has contributed on several ESPN platforms including NBA Today, ESPN The Magazine, The Hoop Collective Podcast, Sports Center, Outside the Lines, and more. Now, before Dave, there came a few others, some being way creepier than Malika's current fiance. ESPN sought a court order on behalf of Malika Andrews against Ahmed Abubakar, a 41-year-old New Jersey resident who it said developed a disturbing obsession with the NBA Today host. The restraining order also protected First Take host Stephen A. Smith and Molly Karam. George Fong, ESPN's Director of Security and Safety, said in court documents that Abubakar's derogatory and threatening tweets directed at Andrews caught his attention in September 2022. Fong said he monitored Abubakar's interactions with ESPN employees from that point on, later noticing the man's interest centered on Andrews, Smith, and Karam. In the most recent incident this June, Abubakar found Andrews' unlisted phone number, which he has used to call her multiple times. When Abubakar first called, Andrews quickly hung up and alerted Fong, who demanded Abubakar cease all conduct with Andrews. According to court documents, Abubakar agreed, but later that day, he directed at least 14 messages to Andrews on X, including some in which he admitted to calling her. At Malika underscore Andrews, somehow, it appears there's a barrier ESPN NBA media sports journalists create with fans, as when I called to let you know that, you were willing to cut call short before I reminded you about fact to stop bringing up negative old news," Abubakar wrote in one tweet, seemingly referencing her mention of Charlotte Hornets rookie Brandon Miller's connection to an Alabama murder case during this year's NBA draft broadcast. Obviously, the Charlotte Hornets who drafted Miller with the second overall pick weren't concerned about it, though it felt like only a matter of time until someone on ESPN's panel brought it up. That someone turned out to be Malika who mentioned the scandal. Andrews would later become the subject of harsh online criticism, with many viewers feeling it was unnecessary to pick at that scab, rehashing a painful incident from Miller's past that, by all accounts, wasn't his fault. And while that's protocol for each team to do their extensive homework on prospects, former Dallas Cowboys wide receiver Des Bryant wasn't feeling Andrews asking the panel this. Bryant then tweeted this in response to Andrews' question. 
The irony is one of ESPN's most enigmatic and controversial personalities is a black woman who loathes black men, and she covers the NBA. Malika Andrews has a rare, public, and clinical contempt of African-American men. Malika Andrews covering the NBA is like a sexist man being a panel member on The View. It's overwhelming. A very brief check of her recent history will confirm the great and unusual lengths she goes through to confront and disrespect these men. On several occasions, she has interrupted former NBA players who serve as analysts. She tried to disrespect Stephen A. Smith on his own show. She has mentioned decades-old incidents regarding a potential Boston Celtics coaching choice. In May of 2022, Andrews trended on social media due to her inhumane remarks after the death of former NBA player Adrian Payne. She mentioned in a 2010 incident that was proven to be false, her vitriol of black men is scathing, unprofessional, and seems to be rooted in something deep within her. Podcasters, reporters, and NBA fans of all races have been responsible for Andrew's trending due to her on-air behavior. Dave, you sure about this? According to Butt Crack Sports on Twitter, Rose was let go by ESPN for inappropriate behavior that was allegedly caught on video. Andrews can be heard telling Rose, who has his arm over her, to get his hands off her. In the video, a voice, which is supposed to be Andrews, could be heard telling Rose to get his hands off her. However, Sports Kita said the report was false and termed the video edited as Butt Crack Sports as a famous parody and satire account known for making up headlines. Kwame Brown had taken a shot at Malika in a fiery rant as well. The former number one overall pick hasn't been shy about expressing his thoughts, and now that Andrews tried to frame a former player, Brown was ready to fire back. But that type of woman that Malika Andrews is, type of woman in the world in my opinion. You want to have an opinion on everything, you want to talk about everything, but then you want to tip the scale to where that's feminist bull ruling. Jalen Rose did not put his hand in your armpit, ma'am. And if that was something that he did and you thought he did, and this man revealed you as his sister, then you might have wanted to talk to your brother off camera. Y'all better be careful about these women like this. We've never heard you say nothing about Dana White slapping his wife over and over again. How come we never heard that, ma'am? How come you always attacking black men and always trying to make sure a black man is in line? Who paying you to do that, ma'am? Malika called the speculation of the various women involved with former Boston Celtics coach Ima Yudoka gross and unnecessary. To make matters even worse, Andrews even condemned Smith by debating whether the concerned suspension was justified, instead of further blaming women, which apparently the veteran sports media personality never did. Andrews also caught some heat for bringing up the past of the Celtics' interim coach, Joe Mazzula, also a black man. In 2009, as a college player at West Virginia, he was charged with domestic violence for allegedly choking a woman at a bar. The case was settled out of court, and West Virginia head coach Bob Huggins suspended him. However, the incident happened in April, just after the season had ended. Missoula was reinstated the next season and did not miss a single game. In 2020, Rachel Nichols' hotel room was bugged, and she lost a 20-plus year sports journalism career for comments she made about Maria Taylor. Nichols basically said that the only reason Taylor was assigned to cover the NBA Finals was due to her race. After the audio was leaked, Nichols was dismissed in disgrace, and Andrews began her ascent. ESPN needs to either rein her in or end her rampage of terror, unprofessionalism, and animus against the very people she is responsible for covering. She is free to feel the way she does, but allowing her unlimited access to a national and international platform to do so is inexcusable. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Is Dave McMiniman making the right decision? Let us know in the comments.